thinking about you all the way home. The Thinking about you all the way home. Oh, wait a minute, babe. Going to bed. I'm a bed. Stop looking at my boots. Stop looking at my boots. Oh, you're looking at my boots. What's going on? Good morning. They can find you all the way home. Ooh, wait a minute, baby. Going too fast. I'm a third bad. Oh, my God. Thinking about good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And small way shut up. How do I do this? Wow. Thank you. Good morning. Alright. So uh, how about this? How about this girl? Come on, how y'all doing? So this will happen. I got my fat self, my black self, a deck collection. Letter. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, that kind of poor girl? Oh, I got a deck collection letter. So, okay, I monitor my credit report real, 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 real well. Okay? I do. And because I do, I know it's, it hasn't hit my credit. I don't want this. Oh, maybe I do. But how do I download the app? There's an app. Uh, I forgot to do that right now. Okay. So, um, I'm about to tell y'all what to do when you get a debt collection notice. All right. So, this debt, don't throw it away. Don't ignore it. It's not gonna go away. Now, this is the this is the key. So it says, so this debt is from all state property casualties for $2,000. All right. So good morning. Make, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on YouTube if you miss it. So don't trip. Um, if you're on YouTube, I'm going to upload a copy of the letter and the letter I send up there for y'all for absolutely free. So this is applicable in case it is on your credit report and it's for a collection agency like this is. Or if it's not on your credit report and it's for collection, this is not what you send. Like, say, for instance, you owe T-Mobile. This is not what you send to T-Mobile. But say, for instance, um, Portfolio Recovery sends you a bill for T-Mobile. This is what that is for. Understand that. It's, we're going to do that another day if you get something from T-Mobile and what you send to T-Mobile. But today is for whatever, whatever. So they said something about this debt is from 2018. 12, 28, 2018, so nearly two years ago. I'm trying to think. I think I canceled my insurance with them and went with somebody else. But Allstate also owns insurance, um, who I was with. I don't remember having Allstate. And I'm trying to figure out why I'm being charged this. And I really don't know. Um, and so, um, so, it, it, so this is what happens. Okay. So this is the letter that gets sent me, and the letter says, according to our client, the above reference amount remains unpaid, which is $2,123.39. Girl, what? As a result, your account is replaced with this file for collection. We look forward to working with you to resolve this matter. Thank you. But they say, and they must say this under federal law, and which is your rights. Unless you notify this office within 30 days of receiving this notice, and I received it on the, well, they sent it on the 26th of, uh, 
they sent it, that's Thanksgiving Day. Apparently they sent it on Thanksgiving, so that wouldn't even count because that's a federal holiday. The Friday would also be a holiday, the weekends doesn't count. So technically Monday would be my first thirty the start of my thirty days. Um but don't wait that long. Send it right now. <laughs> don't wait thirty days. You have it. They're gonna use their thirty days, but don't so it says if you notify this office in writing within 30 days from receiving this notice that you dispute the validity of this debt or any portion thereof the office will obtain verification of the debt or obtain a copy of the judgment and mail you a copy of such judgment verification if you request this office in writing for 30 days after receiving notice, this office will provide you with the name address of the original creditor if different from the current creditor this is an attempt to collect the debt and any information obtained will be used for that purpose this communication is from a debt collector they have to tell you that under federal law but what they don't tell you under federal law is what the validity of debt is and this is what it says the law which is the fair debt collection practices act says that they must not only send you verification but complete validation in order for you to for them to try to collect debt they have to send you complete complete validation and that's what i'm going to request them because guess what i know my rights and guess what you know now you know your rights and so um you notify them in writing okay so i got the letter and so all right so so this is my little mile office set up right now um what i'm going to do is um i'm going to copy their letter let's put scan it into my computer because uh wait, hold on. i scanned it into the computer because i keep a record like that i make a little folder on the computer but i also have like a little folder in the file cabinet when you're doing your credit repair sister get your little folder i get the little i got the little let me see what i've got for one month for like Two, three dollars, girl. I have a file cabinet, but I have a lot of stuff. But I got this. It was like four dollars. It was cheap. I don't know if it was on sale, but it was a little thing and it worked good. It's a little thing where you hold all your folders up. So you want to keep folders. You want to keep that and, and get a box of folders. That's like four or five dollars too. Spend that money because you want to stay organized. You want to stay organized. Because let me tell you something. Watch this. You can sue them. I told y'all how and showed y'all how I sued them before and actually won. And I'm waiting on payment now. So you got to get that. Go get that. Get organized. Because what you need to do, as soon as you get this one here, as soon as you get this letter here, this is where it starts. If they mess up one time, I can sue them. If they, when, they, when, I, when I sued them and I sent them all my paperwork, boop, I didn't have to go nowhere. I just have to go go to the folder Oh, girl, here, boom, boom, boom. On this date, I sent this, this day, I sent this, this day, I sent that. And I had my proof in my paperwork, my receipts, as they say. Yeah, it was cheap at Walmart. It was, I don't know if it was on sale, like 488, girl. It was cheap. It was $5. This live will be put to YouTube. Go get that. Come on, Abraham. Well, my best. Go get that. Go get a filing cap. Go get some folders. You need those things. All right. The next thing, go to the post office and get a million of these and a million of these. They're free. You're going to need them. This is your next line of defense. This proves you sent them something and they got it. Without that, your lawsuit is frivolous. They, they're, gonna, they're going to say this. I ain't never got nothing. They're going to say that. This proves that they got it. This is free at the post office, but it costs to send the letter. And so it's, uh, what is this? It's a tracking for the certified mail return receipt. That's what this is. Go get those things. These are free to get. Have a hundred of them. I have a hundred and fifty of them. I'll go to the post office. I just go get them off the thing. That's what that is. All right. So you need that, and I'm gonna need envelopes. Get your box of envelopes. <laughs> you could do this yourself. An envelope. All right. So let me scan their letter in, and then I'm gonna get to what I'm gonna send them. Now I'm gonna send them. A, I'm gonna send these girls some certified mail. Because you're gonna get this and you're gonna that to also tells them, okay, we can't play with this bitch. This is serious. So this is how stuff get on your credit report. Because they send y'all that letter and y'all don't respond. Respond, and that way, while it's going through, they can't put it on your credit report anyway. Because it's not being validated. And you're gonna put that in your letter. The letter will be on the link on YouTube, it will be in the description. For that so i scan in the letter i like to keep a copy of the letter i like to send them a copy of the letter so they know what i'm talking about all right so boom all right we got it scanned in 
Let's go to this third. Let's print one copy. Print one copy of this. Bob. This is the one I'm gonna send them. This is the copy. I'll put that in what I'm gonna send them. This is the copy of their letter. They know, look, this is the foolishness you sent me. And I'm gonna put their original letter in their new folder. I'm not the one to play with, don't play with me. And so there's CC, there's CCS, Credit Collection Services. And so I got that on the second, and I marked on there when I received it on the second. Receives first letter 12-2. So I know for myself, this is my personal record. Wow, now they got a folder. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to craft my letter to them and tell them, girl, stop playing with me. I'm not the one. Don't play with me. Y'all better come correct. All right. Now, I have a lot of pre-existing letters, and so I'm going to go to one of them and craft it, but I'm going to definitely read to you what it says. If you use one of my letters, it's free. First. All right. I have a lot. Oh, yeah, I do have a lot. <laughs> I do. Let's see which one's a good one. So, no, that's not the one I'm looking for. I have a, I have a, I have a. No, that's not the one I'm looking for either. I actually just did one for somebody else, and they said, "Look, we're not fucking with you," and it was like, "Nope." All right. So let's let's let me and I gotta take my address off. All right. So today's day is the what? So yeah. All right. So I'm gonna take my address out right quick so I can show y'all what the letter says, and um, let's make it no pay, no pay. Wow. Put that there. All right, so let me show you what this one was. All right, you saving this live boo? Yes, go go on to. Uh, good morning. Let's go go on YouTube. The link will be on YouTube, but I'm gonna show you what my letter says. So I'm gonna put this. This is one I sent on October first, and they was like, "Nope, we're not even playing." Play. So they sent me uh, a forty dollar bill for a uh, parking room and something from that. But I was like, "No, y'all tripping." All right, so. It says, this letter is being sent to you in response to a notice sent to me on September 8, 2020. Be advised that this is not a refusal to pay, but a notice sent pursuant to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, 15 U.S.C. 1692G, Section 809B, that your claim is disputed and validation is requested. This is not a request for verification or proof of my mailing address, but a request for validation made pursuant to the above name, title, and section. I respectfully request that your office provide me with the competent evidence that I have any obligation, legal obligation to pay you. Please provide me with the following. What the money you say I owe is for. Explain show how you calculated what I say you owe. Provide me with copies of any papers that show I agree to pay what you say I owe. Provide the verification of copy of any judgment if applicable. Identify the original creditor. Provide the statute of limitations has proved the statute of limitations not expired on this account. Show me that you are licensed to collect in my state and provide me with your license number, numbers and registered agent. At this time, I will also inform you that if your offices have reported invalidated information to any of the three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion, this action might constitute fraud under both federal and state laws. Due to this fact, if any negative mark is found on any of my credit reports by your company or by the company you represent, I will not hesitate in bringing legal action against you for violating violation of the Federal Credit Reporting Act, violation of the Federal Debt Collection Practices Act, defamation of character. If your officers are able to provide proper documentation as requested in the following declaration, I will require at least 30 days to investigate information, and during such time, all collection activity must cease and desist. Also, during the validation period, if any kind of action is taken which could consider detrimental to any of my credit reports, I will consult my legal counsel for suit. This includes any listing, any information, list, this includes listing, includes any listing of, I missed the word, of, of any information to a credit reporting agency, reporting repository that could be inaccurate and validated or verification, verifying an account as accurate when in fact 
there is no provided proof that it is. If your office is filled with responses, better sugar, the 30 days from the date of your receipt, all reference to this call must be deleted and completely removed from my credit file, and a copy of such deletion request should be sent to me immediately. I would also like to request in writing that no telephone contact, this is the people, when they call you, and you, you, you can't, they could call you, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 8 p.m., I think, or 7 p.m., it's, it's, a, it's a time frame. But with this, they will never be able to call you again. They got to contact you by mail. Never talk to these bitches on the phone. Listen. Never talk to these bitches on the phone. Let me hear, hear me out. Never talk to these bitches on the phone. You talk, they give you the number, don't call them. Do not call. Do not call. Do not talk to them on the phone. If they call you, say, listen. You have to send them a letter saying don't call me. Talk to me and write. You can't prove nothing on the phone. If you go to court, you say, well, I told them they said I was going to take it on my credit report. And I was, if I paid $400 and I paid the $400, no, that, that, there's no proof of that. They, oh, they recorded it. It don't matter if they recorded it. They're not going to show. They're not, they're not on your side. They're against you. So never talk to these bitches on the phone. Never make no deal with them on the phone. Do this in writing. It's slower, but trust the plus. It's much more powerful. If you talk to them bitches on the phone, you cannot prove a bitch ass thing. I'm just letting you know. That's what it is. All right. So I put there. I would also request in writing that no telephone contact be made by your offices to my home or to my place of employment. If your office attempts a telephone communication with me, including but not limited to computer generated calls and calls to correspond or correspond sent to or with any third parties, it will be considered harassment and I will have no choice but to file suit. All future communications with me must. I need to highlight that because I put that in caps. Bitch, I need that in both. Must be done in writing and sent to the address noted in the letter by United States Postal Service. I would. It would be advisable that you ensure that your records are in order before I'm forced to take legal action and attempt to correct your records. Any information obtained shall be used for that purpose. Special guards, right here. Bow. 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 Don't talk to them. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want to talk to them. So, this is the letter that we have to get. I got to change some things in it, of course, because that was for something else. And they sent me a letter back saying, okay, look, fuck it, forget about it. <laughs> It was just forty dollars, but they was like, forget about it. What was free forty dollars? Um, it was like, okay, whatever. So today is Thursday, December third. Let me put my name and my address, and I make two copies, and I print two copies: the one that I sent them, and the one that I am keeping for myself. What's the address? All right. Bop bop. They go. They give you their number. Don't call. Um, sometimes you can fax it. But I'm not, I, I don't, some people ask that question to me a lot. Can you fax it something? Technically, you faxing them, there is a proof that you sent them something. But I don't know how that's hold up in court. I always send, the, I send a mail. I never sent a fax. We need our credit repair classes ASAP. Yes, we do. This is part of them. So let's get started. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. What is their address? They got two different addresses on here. I'm going to send it to their street address, which is... The credit collection services. Um, there are 725 Canton Street, Norwood, Massachusetts. All right, so we file number. That's another thing. Don't ever sign it. You don't have to sign it. They didn't sign a letter to you. They want two thousand dollars for me. Ain't signed it. Well, what the fuck? I'm gonna sign it for. I'm not giving you my signature on this because I'm not gonna even let you have that. But they're gonna get it and they're gonna do it. And that's what it is. Page. Oh, I'm trying to. Let's put them those pages. And sir, signature. Oh, my stomach is killing me. My, my, my stomach is good. 
I don't know why. I haven't even eaten that today. I mean, that's why. Wow, that's what I'm looking for. All right. So, that's it. So, this letter, like I said, will be on. I will put this on the YouTube. The link will be in the bio, the description on YouTube. So that's good for my copy, but for their copy, I need two pages. So my printer do it one That's the one I'm going to put on their file, and I'm going to put the date that I sent this, which is 12 3. All right. This is not going to be good for the copy because it printed on one page. My printer prints on back and front. What I had to set to do that, I don't know why. Alright, so this is their letter uh, to me. This is their letter to me. This is my letter to them. I'm going to scan so I can put the files on the description so y'all can see. Well, no, I would have to. Y'all can just block my address off and put put your address. They don't play with me. Hey, what's going on? Sorry for, your, sorry for typos. Yes, buying and collecting debt is actual business. You pay for it up front or whatever you collect, you keep. That's one way. That's definitely one way they do it. They might pay $20 for the debt. And if they collect 200 then you got more. So it is what it is. So this is going to... So this is how you fill this out. This is so easy. You put who is it going to and who is coming from. Put who is going to right here, who is coming from right there. You can do all this yourself. It is not difficult. Uh, there is a YouTube video about filling out certified mail. I learned, that's where I learned how to do that. <laughs> Real talk. So it's CCS. They're going to Massachusetts. Um, I make a copy of this as well when I send it, but it's going to come back to me anyway. Massachusetts. Oh, two. Two. Ready? Copy that. I put my name and address on the back, which I can't show y'all of course. Because the hoes trying to figure out. Give me <laughs> um, Okay. Get the address. I swear to God, you put my mama number. So this went to CCS. All right, all right, so this is the girl I'm gonna get. Put that in here. All right, so let's get this, uh, let's get this, get this done, let's get it done. All right, so it's going to credit collection services, some credit bureau girl. What sweet y'all number is? And I said, this is another thing, bitch. There's a million sweets there. There's six sweets there. See, they look, they're just kind of shit they do. They don't say it. They don't have a suit, so I'm gonna take the suit off. Continue. Alright, it's not going private, but it's going. Ah, I did the wrong thing. My bad. Alright, oh, excuse me, I was just cursing. I didn't need to, I was printing. Uh, I need to print the envelope. Stop. Mm -hmm. oh, man, 
Okay, well, my bad, y'all. Let's play that look. My computer acting crazy up. Yeah. So look, while I'm getting this done, any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Questions, comments, concerns? <laughs> I messed up something. <laughs> my computer, I, I forgot this is a new computer. And so the program I use to print all my, print my envelopes and stuff is, uh, can I be a zipper? Yes, you can. What's going on, KJ? KJ, they say y'all done, I got you, y'all done moved on up. What's going on naturally be? Regardless, are you still dispute, dispute me? Yes. Dispute, 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 dispute. Thank you, I am Cupcake. I appreciate you, sister. Y'all hear my neighbor's dog? Oh, they ain't They dog is big. What if I don't have the letter from them, but it's on my report? Send them a um, dispute letter saying that this is how you found out about it. It will be a similar dispute letter that I'm going to upload, very, very similar. But if it's a collection agency, then you say, I, I saw this on my credit report and I don't think it's valid. You got the, they, it's their job to prove that they're valid, not yours. Remember that. Don't prove it for them. Use them to prove. If they Because I don't see them come back and say, okay, well, what's your address and what's this? No, you're supposed to know that. Bitch, you motherfucking, um... <laughs> Bitch. You motherfucking... You the one motherfucking, um... Reporting it. Don't you validate it for them. Don't ever do that. I just saw the info. Why is that dirty now? This is how you, so once you get the letter, all right, so this is the next thing I'm going to get a copy of showing that the letter was mailed off. I put this on my thing, make a little copy. If you don't have a, a copy machine, I have a multi thing from Office Depot. I got it for $169. And it was, it's just a regular, just, it's a copy, a scanner, all that stuff in one. If you don't have that, you can go to FedEx office and they'll, you can do all this stuff that I'm talking about. Um, but get you a little printer. They be on sale. Catch them on sale. Is that you? I'm ready to change them. No, that's how Susan and some other faggot that. Some, some, right that's how Susan and some other. On Reginae's song? No, no, I didn't hear Reginae's song. So now I have a copy proving that I sent it. Or proving that it has, like, the, the, what you want on there that's basically important. Is that number right there? That uh, return receipt number. Return receipt number. You want that number on there? And so what I do is, I also put that number, which is the return receipt number, so we don't ever have no confusion. I put certified mail return receipt number. 
I put that at the top. Seven oh one seven. When they see I'm doing all this too, usually they be like, ah. Uh -uh. You might have to do this for a lot of creditors. I had to do this for like 15. I had 15 negative marks on my credit report. I am not. I had 15 negative marks across all three credit reports. That's 45 negatives, te technically. I'm down to one negative on one report. And I'm working. And I'm working hard on that one. I ain't lying. I'm this one. Here, I'm working hard. I feel like I'm going to fight in my life. Where's it the? All right. <laughs> so don't be discouraged. Because like I said, I've been doing this since December on mine. And I got kind of halfway to where I'm at. But I'm still not where I want to be. I still got this one thing that's just lingering and getting on my damn nerves. No. Thinking about you. Oh, you take this, put this top side up where they got to sign it. Put that on the back. These nails get on my nerves. <laughs> Been a long way to go. I need to go get two of them fixed today. I was supposed to go to the girl yesterday. I ain't gonna go. Thinking about you all the way. Home. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Drop that in the mailbox. Drop it in the mailbox. You, I've been disputing through credit karma. Don't dispute online. Again, there is no way to prove nothing. Let me tell you something. These bitches are out to get money that you may or may not owe them. They're not going to give up without a fight. 99% of the time, they're not going to up, give up without a fight. Hey, what's up? I'll be all a big girl a lot. 99% of the time, they're not going to give up without a fight. So what you want to do, don't give them no ammunition. You disputing online does nothing. How can you prove that I disputed online? No, that don't stand up in court. Stop doing that. It seems easy, but this process is not supposed to be easy. If you dispute it online, I'm going to prove you. 99.9% of the disputes online are going to leave it on your report. Not, I never dispute online no matter what. A paper trail is the best. Because let me tell you when it's going to come off. When you hit them with that damn lawsuit. And they know they got the... Not only is you, didn't, you, not, not, only is you not going to have to pay them, but they're going to pay you. It's going to come off. The, the holidays are the best time to send the school letters. Why are you saying this? I don't think it's necessarily but The best time is when you get it. Is when you get it. <laughs> Put this, which is your receipt, in here. That's going to come back. And it's going to be in my folder. And that's how you send the letter. They could come off. Will you have to will you have to fight them in court? Yep. There's gonna be some that you're gonna have to sue. I'm gonna show you a prime example. I have a lawsuit against I have a lawsuit against I can't say none of it. I can't say the bill because of the lawsuit. Because when they settle with you, just take it off. But um I have, I have, I'm going to say what I have, an upcoming lawsuit, I'm going to have something against Energy and Echo Experiment a little bit, because they're going to, I'm going to give you the letters free, don't pay nobody for no letters, especially when they're not working and, not, and, they, and they're not doing it for you, and they can't provide you, I ain't saying no names, but they got somebody on here selling these same letters that you can get for free, so one of the letters is going to be up on the YouTube, um, as stuff happens, we're going to be talking about it, but do you have a video on how to dispute off the credit report, uh, to dispute off the credit report is what I'm doing Nah, but I don't have that video in a sense. But I can make one. I'm sure they do drag their feet after you pay them to remove the shit. If you pay them, they don't have to remove it, sweetie. Irreconcilable differences. The only time, and I stress this enough, do not pay them unless you have a written agreement that says they will remove it if you delete it. If they delete it. But if you pay them without that agreement, they do not have to delete a bitch ass thing. All they have to do is mark it as paid, which means that negative item will still be on your credit report. It will still be on your credit report.
Oh, I guess. That doesn't even make no sense to me. All that shit is pretty much done by computer. The manpower is computer. And what's not done by computer is done in Egypt somewhere. So in case you, if you just paid them just to pay them, that could still be on your credit report. It'll be on YouTube. It's not eventually pop back up. It ain't going nowhere. It never go there. All they have to do is report it as paid now, which does not help you if it's a negative on your credit report. If you're going to pay, have an agreement in writing that says, once I pay you this, you're going to delete it. That's the only way that you should ever pay something. Other than that, dispute it, dispute it, dispute it. Nine times out of ten, that stuff is invalidated or then got it right anyway. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is from Allstate, to be honest with you. And so I got to see what the hell y'all got. I need to see that. I need to check that temperature. If you have settled, how do you get them to report as paid in full or removed? If you have, how did you settle? That should be in the settlement. It says, if you settle, how do you get them to report as paid in full? <laughs> you didn't settle that, sister. You just decided to pay them. Or if you settle, you mean settle as far as less? Like, okay, if the debt was $500, you settle for $200. Um, but that don't mean it's going to ever come up. What's the best size to use to delete? None. Paper and pencil. There's no site. Get off the sites. Get off the sites. Nope, it's not bad, Joy. Everything got to be right. You dispute it and they have 30 days to respond. Yep. My name was spelled wrong and I disputed it. They claimed it was valid. Then, uh, you disputed it. Your name was spelled wrong and you claimed it was valid. Um, I would dispute that. You disputed it. Okay, so the, I would send the company a dispute letter. I would say, this is not my debt. And I would show them just my ID with my name spelled right and the how they and the paper and the, and the proof that they spelled it wrong and then um i will also send that to the query bro like how does this that va- and x how did you validate this when obviously my name is spelled wrong they don't report as paid in full if you settle they well if that's part of a settlement i paid a car why did my credit score to go down because you have one less active account that's why your credit score doing down, but it'll go back up what about garnishment that's been paid in full and it's still hit there on your credit report? If it's paid in full, that doesn't mean it comes off your credit report, baby. In fact, that's the hardest account to get off. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. Check it out. Peep this out. Peep this out. The Fair Credit Reporting Act says that they have the right to report accurate information the federal so they have the right to report accurate information about you they have that right you cannot take away that right from them they but you have rights to check and see if this information is completely valid and if it's not a hundred percent valid then they gotta delete it but your so this dispute process is this thought process here keep this out the dispute process is you're saying that you don't believe this debt is valid and it should not be reported against you. That's what you're saying. Okay? Now, with that being said, if you don't believe the debt is valid and shouldn't be reported, why did you pay it? Once, so, so, the fact that you didn't pay it is your arm to say, I didn't pay this because I don't believe this debt is valid. And you have to prove to me that this debt, this debt is valid. So, that's why I didn't pay it. But if you, but would you pay, like, if I come to you and say, um, oh, sister, you owe me $200 because, you know, the sun rose this morning. You don't believe that's valid. Why would you give me $200? Just because the sun rose. And I said, and I, and I said, and I said, you owe me $200. No, it doesn't work like that. So, but if you give me the $200, that's like saying, okay, you believe that I owe, that you owe me this $200. When you pay a debt, when you pay a debt, you are validating the debt. I don't have to validate it. I don't have to fight and fuss with you. Why do? Why did you pay this if you didn't believe? Now, oh, now you believe it's not valid. Why did you pay it then? How can you get your bankruptcy off a of credit has been discharged over six years? 
Okay, a bankruptcy legally can stay between <laughs> seven and ten years, sister. That's number one. So uh, you could do one or two ways. You could wait one year or you could dispute it. But usually speaking, the court records are kind of stick. Uh, bankruptcies are the hardest thing in the world. Not that the hardest thing in the world. They can become off depending on if every T was crossed or, die, or I was dotted. But um, the best way to do a bankruptcy is first freeze your Lexus, your Lexus Nexus. There's this company called Lexus Nexus. Google them. You have to Google them, freeze that report, then dispute it with the credit bureaus because usually they check the public records through Lexus Nexus. So freeze them first and then dispute it. And that's your chance. Now, can they still get it? Can they still verify it? Yep, they have other things they can use. But bankruptcies are very difficult. I don't, uh, like, I, I, to even play with a bankruptcy, I'm starting at 200. What about if you settle but they don't remove it? Which means settle, understand. Come come to the live and ask, because you, you asked it twice. So if you already paid and they reported it as closed, is it when you get it reported as paid in full or it's a dub? I wouldn't pay them in the first place. I wish y'all stopped paying unless you have something in place to pay. And I have done that before. I have settled a debt, but the, it included removing it from the credit report completely. Yep. What about if you settle, but they don't remove it? If you settle and they don't, they don't have to. All they have to do is report it as paid. Once you settle, so if you settle, especially for less than what you settle for what it is, they don't have to. The only thing that's in the settlement is, but they have a set up, So the settlement agreement, is and I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put a, a, a sample settlement agreement letter up there too. Uh, remember mine that. So, yeah. so sample settlement agreement. But so in the settlement agreement letter, when you agree, it includes removal. Unless you did it by phone, and you don't have no proof and all this stuff like that. Then you effed. You effed. I can. I'm at work. I I can. I'm at work. I paid the settlement, which was half of the amount. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you pay half of the amount. They don't have to do anything but, but but report that it's paid. If your settlement agreement didn't include, if your settlement agreement didn't include deletion, the reporter is settled in full versus paid. Yep. Yeah, they don't. They don't. You don't have to do that. They don't have to do nothing. And you paid it, so that's showing that you validated it there. That you validated it there. So I'm sorry you did that. I wish you would have. I have a video. I've talked about that before in another video uh, about not paying debts and why you shouldn't pay the debts unless you have a settlement in place that includes deletion. Thank you, QTEL. I'm so sorry you did that. But if you paid them and you settled, you're going to have to wait for seven years from the date of first delinquency for this to come off your report because it's very hard. And I'm telling you now, I'm dealing with that right now as we speak. Let me tell you why I'm dealing with that right now. All right. I had... I had a lot of late payments on my car. A lot of late payments. A lot of late payments on my car. So many late payments were not even funny. One, one time I was late four months. So it was like a 120 day late payment. Of late payment here, late payment here, late payment here. Um, so when my car got wrecked, I, was, I had car back up, but I was still like one month late. Okay, so my car got wrecked. Um, the the gap coverage of course kicked in and paid the car off and i was one late payment away um and i should have left it on there my bad my bad and let that go to the collections that way that always took longer but i wasn't thinking at the time i wasn't not taking my own advice um i just paid the other month so paid the one month late i was at and just to have that closed out because i wanted another car all right but this is how i effed myself the count is showing is paid in the paid in full but that history of late payments is still on the credit report and so as me disputing that is difficult because it's showing at zero the gap coverage kicked in and i paid the and i paid the month what i should have did was kept that little one month let it go to collections and go with it like that i should have done that that would have been the best i mean it would have took a few months and, but at the same time you know it was so crazy and i just wasn't thinking i wanted to help and get a new car and that was all that was all that mattered and then i got stuck in the lease and I, I regret every minute of that as well. Like, I want to go to Atlanta this weekend and I have to either rent a car or I ain't flying, but I might have to catch the bus. And the reason why I have to do that is because the miles are over on my car. And one thing I'm trying to do is get in a new car. So you could do that after a year on an option. But what the, what the, what the, what the, what the company was telling me was that um, I could 
so this is what I might end up doing. So, um, um, it comes up on the 19th or the 20th or something like this. I think on the 20th or the 21st, I'll be able to do this. The 20th is a Monday. But on the 19th, I need a calendar in here, like right there. Um, on the 19th, is I got the car. Uh, my car was wrecked on the third. Like this actually on the third last. That my car was wrecked. My daughter got it wrecked one year ago today. Um, it was wrecked on the third of December, and I got a call a couple weeks later, which was on the nineteenth or something. So that will be my year up. Now, um, I have the option to get another car, but I still have to be under the miles. Um, but I have to pay something. But I have to pay the excess mile fee. Uh, cause I'm actually over the miles. Um, or I could, so I'm a try, but this is an option I didn't know I had. I could turn my lease into a fi- so this is what makes most sense to me now. Turn my lease into a finance, which is being be my my option to purchase. Um, pick up that and then turn my lease into a finance, then trade that car in and get the car I'm on. That's what I'm doing. This will be on YouTube for the last time. So that's so okay. So what I did was pay. Cause I didn't want the I wanted to get because at first I was gonna finance another car with the same finance company that I had that financed my first car. So that's why I ended up paying it. But it turned out I didn't do that. Um and child, I I don't lease the car, I will never lease the car again. It's just you gotta because you gotta you can't go over so many miles and I drive too much. And so now I wanna go to Atlanta. And guess what? I'm over my miles already. I can't take my car. I took my car to Atlanta one time. And I would never do that again. I don't like. I don't recommend doing it. I regret it to this to this day. I regret it. I regret it. I, I can't just get in the car and go like I want. I, and, and you know, like real, like today I gotta go run errands because I'm over my miles. I, I had I went to go get my dad a truck and I was like, look, I need to use a truck because thankfully it was broke. Remember when I went to Atlanta and the, and Will wrecked the car. So it was broke, not broke, but I had to get it fixed for the last couple of weeks. So I was in a runner, so I could run around like I want. But right now, I'm actually over the miles by like maybe 100, 200 miles, something like that. So right now, I can't really drive my car. I have a car that I can't drive. That I got to pay for, but I can't drive. <sighs> Never again. Never again. It's, if you drive a lot, leasing is not for you. If you just want to have a car that you just a look, like a, a get around in, that's cute. But if you drive like me, it sounded good because I got a new car. You know, I got a 2020 and 2019, but my bad. It was the worst decision, worst decision ever. It was the worst. What's going, what's going on, Sunny sister? How you doing? Worst decision ever, and I would never do it again. I'm sorry. I regret doing that. I wanted a car, <laughs> and so that's what I did. And so now I have a car that's sitting there that I really cannot drive, but maybe I, if I got to go like right there or right there or something, but I'm going to run errands today. I got to go run around. You know what? I can't even take my car. I'm going to actually have to end up taking my data truck. And that's the same. And I hate this. I hate this. So um, so that's what I'm going to try to do coming up. But I said that to say, don't pay the debt. Because now that one... So I had, I got it removed. It was on all my credit bills. I got it removed from two. But I got to get it. And it was hard. And it's still a year. And I still haven't got that removed from that one bureau that is still on. Which is motherfucking experience. And I hate them all. <laughs> so, um... That's what it is. I did one too when I was like eighteen. Never again. Yep. It was it's, it's, leasing is not for me. You got to be a rich bitch to lease. You, and you that might be your second vehicle, like or something. Like you'll go around the video. What's going on? Expectations of my dumb butt lives in the country too. Like I couldn't be going inside. Yes. When you lease a car, do they report that credit? Yep, they do. So okay, well, so I guess that's the silver lining around the car because now I got one year. I did not miss a payment this whole year on that. Um, of course, y'all know um, the sippers. Took good care of me this year. Uh, y'all, y'all took real, real good care of me this year. Uh, we started some cosmetics, which was an additional source of revenue, um, and I pay myself a, a, a monthly salary. Um, and so, I, um, yes, it do help me carry. So I have a year of lease payments on a vehicle on my credit. So that's it was definitely a good line. When I got my house, that was probably like the kicker that kicked me over. Like at six months. Which became June. When June, when, it, when it, that's when my remember when okay. So when I got approved for the house was in June. Um, I didn't get everything finalized till August. It takes that long to do all that stuff with the house. Um, it took it, it took it don't take long, but you could probably close on the house within like thirty days. But it took me like sixty because of the pandemic and all the stuff like that. So 
that the credit ratio will ravage your stuff. Thank you, London. I appreciate you. So what I did was, um, so when that when that hit six months, my credit shot up. It was in the upper five hundreds. It was in the lower five hundreds for a while, but then it went a uh, shot up to the six hundreds. Uh, so now on Experian, I'm on six seventy, and on Equifax, Experian, I'm in the seven eighty seven. Whatever, whatever. Shake it. I have a question. How can I use what was used from one bureau with the others? What you mean? Explain what, explain what you mean. You could definitely use the bureaus against each other. You could say, why are they reporting it right and you're reporting it wrong? You could send that to them. Um, would that matter much? Yeah, that's a possibility. There's always a way you could dispute something. Oh, my stomach is killing me, girl. Um, I'll show you on my credit reports. So experience is my worst one. And, it, it, and I'll be in the seven something. I noticed this one, all them late payments is costing me 50 points or more. It is. I finished Equifax, but TransUnion and Experian won't delete the items. But so, so Equifax deleting them shows, I was sending them deleted. Why they deleted them and you didn't highest and verify on your bureau and not. Um, you can send that with a, and that's a simple letter. Like why this, why this not, and that's not. I'm about to pull up my credit report. So, so y'all can see. Um, reports. Cause I just did this like two days ago. Where am I reports? Where's the summary? I don't want the summary. I want the uh, reports. So I'll show y'all. So and I think experience. I'm gonna show y'all. So look, 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 look. This is experience from December third, which is today. Okay. One account. This one account. It's costing me 50 points. I know. It is. So that's my experience. My Equifax, pretty decent. If it comes up. Ever. 740. It's down 8 points because I closed an account. Um, It cost me 8 points. TransUnion, 767. So I could get anything I want if Experian acts, start acting, acting right. <laughs> So I mean, you know, I could get, I could get, you know, I could get some act right. That one letter come on one bureau. Congratulations! It's better to write letters to them. Yep, my credit is a plateau, and I don't have any credit cards. What type of card should I get to help my credit score? Out? Uh, if you can get an unsecured card, that's the best. Uh, try your bank or credit union first. Um, credit one is easy to get approved for. Um, maybe try, uh, but if not, try to get a secure card. Now, don't go around hitting your thing with inquiries. Try to do a pre qualification, which is see if you pre qualify. I think credit one does do that. If you're a plateau and you kind of have some issues and one of your issues is not having credit, do that. Um, your credit score will dip when it first hit, and about three months it'll go back up. What website should you use to get score? I'm using Experian website because they actually give you your FICO score. Get self lender. Self lender is a good option as well. Um, that's an installment loan. She asked about credit cards. So self lender is an installment loan. Um, they have a secure product with self lender, I think. But uh, that's an installment loan, and I, she actually want credit. Card. Is credit karma good? Nope. <laughs> it's just not. I don't use credit karma. Credit karma is good for if, if you just ain't got no money. It's free. But uh, it, uh, experience costs like nine or twenty dollars a month or something, and I pay for it because it's your FICO score. It's the score that the lenders use. They don't use the credit karma scores. It's credit karma scores. So credit karma is not good. It's not good to dispute. It's really not your FICO score, which is the score that lenders use. No shade. I mean, but it's a free product to give you an idea what's on there. Um, and it shows two bureaus. It only shows your um, Equifax and TransUnion. It doesn't show your experience. What's going on, Woody? Buy a home with FICO score do they use? Buy a home, they use your FICO score. Uh, there's a FICO, uh, not the eight, they probably use a 10. Um, but there's a FICO for, there is a FICO for home loans. You can go through your bank to get your credit score. Yeah, you can. <laughs> How'd you improve your credit score? I'm stuck at 710. Uh, right now, you, if you're at 710, that means you probably, how to improve your credit score. It depends on a few factors. I'll have to see your credit report. I can't just say, oh, just do this. But if you're 710, you probably got some installments. You probably got a mix. You might want to add some accounts, maybe a trade line or something. Have you used Experience Boost? Yes, I have used Experience Boost. What about Credit Sesame? Um, 
again, it's, it's you get what you pay for. How much is credit sesame? You get what you pay for. That's not your FICO score. If you want your FICO score, you're going to pay for it. Do I recommend paying for it? Yep, I inv- I recommend investing in your credit. I do. I got 43,000 students. I know once that's going to hit my, that's gone, my shit will be nice. I need help. Dispute them. You don't need help. You can do that yourself. Dispute them. <laughs> Any other questions? Uh, my stomach is really just, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Okay, y'all, that's my mama. I will put this video on YouTube. Also, with the letters, I do not do credit for Oh, uh, <laughs> so I will um, hit y'all back later. You can dispute the student. Yep, you can dispute anything. You can dispute it. Is it going to come off? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. How do you dispute student? All right, I'm going to say, I don't think this is valid. <laughs> Can you take student loans off your account? What do you mean off your account? I tried that. It's still there. How did you dispute them? Did you dispute them in writing? Or did you dispute them on credit card? If you dispute them on credit card, they're going to be still there. And you're going to lose around for nothing. Are you going to put this on YouTube? Yep. Student loan? No. Yes, you can dispute student loan. What do you think about a credit seat? It's illegal. When buying a home, do they focus more on income or credit score? Combination of both. Buying a home is... Yeah. You, you dispute it through experience? Same difference. Don't dispute online. Don't ever dispute online. You write them a letter. If you don't like writing letters, then get ready to just suffer with it. But don't write them a letter. And send it certified. Don't dispute online. Never dispute online. Never dispute on the phone. Never do that. It's not that easy. It won't ever be that easy. They're going to make you pay the student loan. It goes not go off ever. They're going to make you pay the student loan. It goes not go off ever. I have gotten student loans off people ready for myself. I, got, I just got some student loans off my sister. That's not true. You can't dispute it. Does that mean you have, don't have to pay it or you don't owe it? No, it doesn't mean that. They still could take your taxes and stuff, but it's off your credit report for reporting. That's not true. A student loan can come off your credit report. It doesn't it mean it's harder or there's a different thing. Kind of, sort of, but at the same time, it can't come off your credit report. That's a can't if it's very important when buying a home. That is true. Will you show the dispute letters? The, 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 one would, when I um, post this video on YouTube, there'll be a dispute letter attached. YouTube. There'll be this dispute letter and another dispute letter. There'll be two dispute letters attached to this video on YouTube. What else? Thanks, Shady. Good advice. Not a problem. Still, right? I'll see you on Beagle later today. Love y'all.